Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. Welcome to Nevada News Magazine. On the broadcast today, George Harris joins us. He's the chairman of Nevadans to Sound Government here for the whole show on an all-new Nevada Newsmakers. Pro Group Management is the place where companies can find workers' comp solutions that are designed to meet their specific business requirements. As regulations evolve, Pro Group takes a proactive approach to clear the path to make sure your business stays ahead of the curve. Knowing your workers' comp program is optimized, you can focus on other important matters related to your growing business. Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. It's one of the oldest scams in Vegas. Make them think one thing and pull off another. Meet Sam Brown, or as Republicans call him, Scam Brown. Brown created a special fundraising committee he said would be used to elect Republicans. But instead, Brown pocketed money for his own campaign. In fact, fewer than 2% went to helping other candidates. Sam Brown, can't trust him to be for you. Win Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. As you know, Reno is booming. Toll's development company is helping it grow with insightful design and development, building community with every project, adding beauty, adding excitement, emphasizing our shared humanity. Reno is becoming bigger. Toll's development is helping it become better, more livable, more enjoyable. To learn more, go to tollsdevelopment.com, tollsdevelopment.com. Story County is leading Nevada. Home of the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center, Google, Tesla, Panasonic, and other world-leading companies. Story County provides thousands of tech, advanced manufacturing, and logistics careers for Nevadans. We're diversifying and driving Nevada's economy and generating millions in tax revenue and billions in economic activity across Northern Nevada. Story County is leading Nevada's future. This is Nevada Newsmakers with host Sam Shad, a no-holds-barred political forum. Now, from the Nevada Newsmakers broadcast headquarters, here is Sam Shad. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we are always delighted to welcome to the program one of my best friends, Mr. George Harris, chairman of Nevadans for Sound Government. Pleasure to have you back on the program, sir. Sam, thank you for having me. How are you today? I, I am doing fabulous, but I get to ask the questions around here, darn it. Um, let's start out because they just announced uh, in the last 24 hours the uh, vice president uh, for Kamala Harris, uh, Tim Waltz. Your thoughts on Mr. Waltz, Governor Waltz? Well, Governor Waltz is, look, it, there's no secret. It's on tape. It's on film. He's, he's a very liberal guy, and I don't think it brings any balance to the ticket. Uh, I think that she has uh, actually did a big self-inflicted wound. She didn't pick the governor of Pennsylvania and she didn't pick him because he's Jewish because she didn't want to lose her Muslim uh, support in Minnesota. So, or not in Minnesota, I'm sorry, in Wisconsin. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's troubling, but you know, the question is, is what has Kamala done? And no one can answer that question. And by the way, two and a half weeks ago, even with the media who's now enveloped themselves around Kamala, uh, they were saying, you know, how weird she was and, and how silly she was and, and, you know, and that, you know, every job she's gotten, she's a, definitely a DEI person. And what I mean by DEI is she didn't earn it. She's been handed everything to her and she certainly isn't ready for prime time. Um, it's very interesting um, with the vice presidential pick um, is that, you know, when you think of vice presidents of consequence, the only name that pops to my mind is Dick Cheney. Because really, it seemed like, you know, for much of the Bush presidency, George W. Bush, that Cheney was the one running things. Um, but most vice presidential choices are inconsequential. And it's the top of the ticket that matters, not and, to who's next and, to and, and, and everybody would agree with that in normal circumstance, except for this. I, I think J.D. Vance is what you would be calling the diamond in the rough. And with two or three years uh, of experience, I think he will fit and mold right in, right into the presidency. Do you not think that, or have concerns about the fact that he has flipped on so many of his original ideas and now 
is in, in perfect alignment with Donald Trump, which makes sense, but does that give you any pause? Well, first of all, they're all politicians, with the exception of Donald Trump. And Donald Trump's not a good politician. Um, because, and, and I say that because he's constantly in trouble because he just says what's on his mind. Um, you know, Donald should be saying, you know, just give me an example of what, what Kamala's done. Um, he shouldn't talk about if she's black or Indian. No one cares, frankly. Um, they need to talk about issues. Uh, look, the American people, and especially Nevadans right now, with the, the, this inflation and with everything that's going on, there's, there's real suffering going on. And you're going to have to put someone in the White House that can stop that. And I don't, doesn't matter. Um, everybody knows I'm a big Trump supporter, but if, if you look at both candidates, Trump's the only one that's going to be able to do anything. And okay. the border thing now is so out of control and there's no way they can walk it back. They can't, you know, she's out trying to blame Donald Trump for the border, her border for the last three and a half years. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. Well, the, the, the border situation is it's, it's whole own story here because Congress really needs to take responsibility for the disaster that is the border. Um, and I am, I am hugely in favor of legal immigration and, you know, whatever help we can give. I, I mean, I can't even imagine what these poor people who are coming to the border um, because of all the crime and drugs and cartels and all the rest of this that's going on um, in their countries, um, what they have to go to to even get to the United States. Um, yeah, but Sam, Sam, no, Sam I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not arguing. Let, I, let me interject something here. Congress. Congress well, is the it, it problem. It doesn't matter. Congress. Leadership starts at the top. The top's the presidency. That's the fact. When Donald Trump was in, the border was under control. They were building a wall. When he got out of office, they, they reversed everything he did. But here's the problem. The, the problem is, is that whether you want to say this or not, and every time you talk to a liberal, the first thing out of their mouth is you're a racist. You always win the argument when they call you a racist, because you're not a racist when you're saying, look, Chinese Chinese immigrant agents are crossing the border. Terrorists are crossing the border, okay? They are releasing people from prisons in foreign countries to get them out of their country to send them to our country. So anybody that's telling you anything different is just frankly full of crap. Okay, look, for if, if a country wants to send somebody under deep cover to the United States, they can just buy them a ticket and put them on a plane. They don't have to send them through the cartels. Sam, to... Sam, they've, Sam you're 100% you're, you're correct. The Biden administration has allowed almost 29,000 people, 29,000 people from China here on a ticket. We don't know where they're at. We don't know what they're doing. But it's also easy if you're, if you're, if you're from the Middle East to come up across the border Okay, those those type of people aren't going to buy tickets. Okay, but it's not. It's, Damn, it's, it's not, not if, easy. It's not if there's going to be a terrorist attack. It's when, and it's going to happen shortly. Well, they, okay, they, they, you 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 and I can debate this all day and night. Yeah, but uh, you don't have, have no, the experience, Sam. You have zero experience in this. I have twenty years of serving in the military. I worked in Special Operations Command. I actually know what's going on. And I love you, but you have no idea what's going on. You have no idea the type of people that they are infiltrating into our country. Okay. And it's you know, one of the things that we know, because I, I, we, we could chew up the whole show going over all this. I'll, I'll just let it sit. One of the things that we don't talk about, we talk about building a wall, but we don't talk about all the tunnels that come across, tunnels from Mexico into the United States that bring drugs, that have train tracks in there, you know, El Chapo utilized that when he was escaping from prison, but we have that in California. We likely have that in Texas, New Mexico, but nobody ever talks about that. And nobody talks about well, or very we, little we, about the Northern border. The press, the press doesn't talk about it. The military knows about it. The, the, the border patrol knows about it. They have an idea. And listen, you're right, because for every tunnel they collapse, they build another tunnel. You're a hundred percent correct. But that is an ongoing thing, just like building a fence, securing. The, it's called securing the border. And we have not done that in three and a half years. No, we have not done that in a lot longer than three and a half years. Look, in, in my opinion, and I've studied immigration since 1977. So I do have a little experience in following this story. Um, 
it, the, the changes don't come from the president. The changes come from the Congress. The House and the Senate have to put together a bill that can pass muster and then be sent to the president to get it done. And the last time that any, the, there was any real chance of that occurring was when George W. Bush was president and Harry Reid and John McCain were working on that. And it's been a long time. And the last time Reagan signed a bill was 1986. So it has to come from the Congress. And, and I lay it at Congress's feet that nothing has been done. I lay it at Congress's feet. I'm fine. But I, I am telling you that the executive branch of the government has a lot of authority. You keep saying it laid at the Congress's feet, but it was an executive order that stopped everything. It was an executive order that started building the fence. And I Congress don't disagree. Well, I don't so, disagree. The so problem let's, is let's that... Let's not talk, Sammy. Let's not talk semantics. Okay, okay you're wrong. but... but, but <laughs> As usual, but, you're wrong. But, here, but here's the thing. You know, um, the Trump administration put in executive orders. The Biden administration got rid of the executive orders, and then things got so chaotic, they put them back in. So in terms of foreign policy- But, but you're 100% correct in your argument. Congress should have stepped in and said, hey, wait a minute. You know, yes, you're the guy in charge, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to fund at a trillion and a half dollars to finish the wall. We're going to put, we're going to put on the border, with the border, with the border patrol, we're going to put in, we're going to drop in three or four divisions of military personnel. But now, do you really want military personnel operating on United States territory? They do every day. Of course well, I do. Well, well I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the National Guard, but I no, mean... No, 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 no. I'm telling you, that, who do you think runs Area 51? D does that's, Area that's 51... That's not supposed to do anything within the U.S. borders. You know, as a guy Central who's wearing a shirt... Hang on. The as... Central Intelligence Agency runs Area 51. Okay. I'm not going to disagree with you, but I am going to point out that if the camera pulls back, it'll reveal on your shirt, it says uh, alien tequila. So that's right. Say it. <laughs> there, but that's there not it the is. point. Let's, I'm, let's not try, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm just saying that, listen, you're talking about now protecting the citizenry of the United States. That's why we have a military. Their job is to protect the republic. OK. And speaking of the republic, let's discuss how the Democrats uses this word democracy and it fell on, now they're using the word weird. But the last time I looked, we're not a democracy because I did something the other day. I pledged allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. It doesn't say to the democracy for which it stands, it's to the Republic. And I just get frustrated when educated people do stupid things. Okay, but now here's, here's something that is driving me a little crazy, which is that everybody is talking about democracy and we're gonna lose our democracy and all this other stuff. And yet I can't think of another time in my lifetime when more people have been involved in the political process on one side or the other or as independents. They're going out and voting. They're following uh, the political campaigns more closely right. than they ever have before. Democracy, I democracy, think democracy is thriving in this country. Democracy is thriving and it's safe and the Republican is, is thriving and it's safe. Look, Sam, if you take 400 people and you send them in to watch a movie called the Sam, the Sam Shad movie, you're gonna have 400 it's a different- a great movie, by the way. You're gonna have 400 different perspectives, okay? The question is, is that the majority, okay, is the ones who make the decision. And our problem is we've allowed this, this very loud, boisterous minority to, to, to run the system. And it's gonna stop and people are tired of it and it's just gonna stop. People aren't dumb, they're being gaslighted every day. Look, they, on 60 Minutes, they've got, they've got Nancy Pelosi saying, oh, I had nothing to do, nothing at all to do with, with Joe Biden being thrown. I wouldn't do it. Then the next morning, she's on ABC bragging about how she had Joe Biden uh, taken off the ticket. I, so I think you said, you know, he, these, he, and by the way, I want to tell you something. It's not Democrats. It's the Democrats that are elected to office that are so power mongering and power hungry that will do and say anything to keep their power. Regular Democrats in the neighborhoods want to pay their bills and feed their family. Eggs are up 140%, Sam. Milk's up 135%. Gasoline is up 90%. It's ridiculous. 
Okay, but you don't want the government controlling prices, do you? The government doesn't control prices. That's what the marketplace is. But right. those, but listen, these Democrats, these Democrat policies are what's caused this inflation. This inflation is well, out of control. No, oh, Sam, oh, George, George, George. Sam, don't start with me. You don't I'm, know anything about I, economics. I, I, I have to start. I mean, I may not be an expert on the military. And where's your Nevada newsmaker's mug? Um, I, right I may not be. I'm, I'm drinking out of it. Nevada <laughs> newsman. Oh no, that's simply Vegas. Nicole Moreau. Don't 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 blur it out. Realtor. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that, and she's a great realtor. Um, all right, let's take a break. We have to take a break. We'll come back more with me and George Harris after this timeout. <laughs> Like a traditional handmade basket, retail is woven into the fabric of life in Nevada. From big box to mom and pop, retail supports our communities in countless ways. Jobs for the disabled, team uniforms for kids, help for the elderly, and so much more. Retail employs over one in 10 workers. Retail supports Nevada, and we support retail. R-A-N-N-V dot org. What do you count on? You count on your power every day. At NV Energy, we've always powered what's important to you, but we're not looking at the past. We're focused on the future. While our standards are high, our rates will remain low, and our commitment to renewables isn't just meeting standards, but leading the way, because you can count on more than just your power. You can count on the company who brings it to you. That's our promise. You can count on it early in the morning or throughout the night. Professional truck drivers are on the job, serving you. Safely moving freight that's crucial to our economy. From the oldest industries to our newest innovators. From the exotic to the everyday. Trucks are everywhere, moving everything. Never afraid to embrace a future that makes Nevada and our nation stronger. Trucking moves America forward. The Nevada Builders Alliance has been protecting the interests of the construction industry for over 50 years. Our programs save members thousands of dollars every year and allow them to provide much needed benefits to their employees. Our industry also allows Nevada to grow. If you're thinking about a career in the construction industry, reach out. And if you haven't thought of a career in construction, what are you waiting for? We are the Nevada Builders Alliance. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with George Harris. He's the chairman of Nevadans for Sound Government. Okay, congratulations on getting voter ID onto the ballot, sir. Well, okay, yes. I, I, I admit I'm one of the architects. A lot of credit goes to Dave Gibbs. But I, I will be honest with you, the, the guy who saved my bacon and saved Dave's bacon was uh, Joe Lombardo. You know, we we were we were 90 percent there. Um, we ran out of money. I called the governor and the governor said, well, George, my guys are telling me you're not going to win in court. I said, Joe, we're going to win in court. We won in court. And then, of course, all the naysayers who, who wanted us to fail turned around and said, well, you know, governor, they won't. They, they, they're it's being appealed. They're not going to win the appeal. Then we then we won the appeal seven zip. And and then we turn the signatures in and now we're going to be on the ballot. And the only reason we're on the ballot is, you know, besides all the hard work we did and all our volunteers. Oh, my gosh, Sam. It was so 396 volunteers statewide. It was great. But the fact of the matter is, uh, at the end, we had to have money to finish it. And Joe came out and, and we had a talk and it was Joe who made the decision and called me at the end. No one else made it. Joe said, George. Just called this guy and this guy. The money's going to be there. Send the bills over there. Everything's going to be done. And we did that. And we now are going to have voter ID on the ballot. Now, why is that such a great idea? Because you have to show an ID for everything, Sam. I'm not going to sit here and go through the 96 times. No, no, we agree on this, George. Okay. We agree. And and someone called me a racist the other day because I, I, I you're going to make me show an ID. Look, the most important civic duty a person has is to vote. Okay, if you got to show, if you want to smoke, you got to show an ID. If you want to buy beer, you got to show an ID. If you want to go on an airplane, you got to. Why would we not ask someone to show their ID? It all it does is improve voter confidence, and it's going to make sure the person 
that is voting with that ballot is who they say they are. Okay, okay so, so stop okay. all the nonsense. Okay, so here, here's my perspective on this. Because frankly, I'm just fine with the way the system is now, but I have heard this uh, concern for so many years, and at this point in time in our history, voter confidence in the system is at such a low level that I think that, that I have no objection whatsoever to showing ID, and I agree with you, you have to show ID everywhere. There are arguments against it, but as long as people who don't have ID can get access if they can't afford it to a free ID, I think that's fine, as long as everybody can still go and vote the and judge, then it gets- The judge already said that, that there's no, that anybody can go get an ID. Right, but, but, also, but also everybody can go and vote and then it gets verified after right. the fact if Sam, they don't Sam. have the ID. Hang on, hang on, let, let me finish here a second. Um, so I, you know, I, I think the bottom line on this for me though is, I don't see how there are winners and losers on this because you, you know, if, if you're a Democrat objecting to this um, because you think that you're going to lose Democratic votes, I think you're going to lose as many Republican votes as you are Democrat votes. I think it's an equal thing here at the end. But I, I, I really sincerely congratulate you on this. I think that we do need voter because confidence. I want, to put one more I want to put one more thing in perspective so you really understand. The left's goal is to, is to cause such angst and such anger that people get sick and tired of voting and they don't go vote. And this is going to be a way to say, no, you, you, can, you can trust the system. The system's good. They want everybody not to vote because if they can just get 10% of the people to make all the decisions, then, you know, then 90% of the people are going to have to live with what 10% want to do. And that's right. going to stop. And J Sam, that's going to stop. I promise you. Right. But, but, but my point here is that it's going to affect both parties equally because I don't think it's a Democrat or a Republican situation with people not having ID. I think it's likely to be equal. But let's take another break. We got one more segment. I don't want to miss out. We'll be right back with my friend George Harris after this time out. They want us to believe we only have two options. That's just not working anymore. I've never been a follower. I'm a businessman and entrepreneur. I'm ready to forge a new path to secure our future. One that keeps Northern Nevada free, fair, and wild. A path that means freedom for all, including affordable housing. I'm Greg Kidd, and I approve this message because I'm not from either political party. I'm for Nevada. Fantastic cocktails and delicious food. It's a good time to eat. Over 500 hot slots, plus electronic table games. It's a good time to play. Player rewards and big time jackpots. It's a good time to win. Ooh, you good times a train wreck. Cars and Valley Hate your place for the good times. Cars and Valley Save money and take transit. Did you know you can ride the bus all day for less than what it would cost you for a gallon of gas? Plan your trip now by going to rtcwashoe.com. For 50 years, Nevada Heating has been keeping people comfortable in their homes. At Nevada Heating, call the Do It Right guys and get the air conditioning back on today. That's the Nevada Heating way. Why sweat for days on end when Nevada Heating can get your air conditioning fixed today? Call us today and we'll fix it today at 323-5585 or schedule us on our website at nevadaheating.com. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with George Harris. He is chairman of Nevadans for Sound Government. Want to get your thoughts on the Sam Brown, Jackie Rosen race, where we are at this point in time. Well, look, Jackie Rosen has enveloped herself around this latest abortion question that goes on the ballot. They went out and collected signatures. It's actually another Democrat gaslighting thing to tell women, oh, that Republicans are going to stop your, your, listen, 
in the state of Nevada 30 years ago, in the Constitution, we put in women can have abortions up to up to 24 weeks, up to six months. OK, no one can change that. No Republican, no Democrat, no independent. It can't. The only people that can change it is has to go in front of the vote of the people. Now they have this new one on. OK, which is actually ensures that you can have an abortion up to the ninth month because that's their goal. They want to be able to have on on demand abortions all the way to the ninth month. And Sam, no one I know agrees with that. I mean, it's horrific. It's horrific to think a seven, eight or 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 nine month old person in the womb could be aborted. But that's what their goal is. They want infanticide. That's what Jackie Rosen stands for. Okay. okay don't say. Okay. Don't say. Okay, Sam. I, I am saying okay because she because has that, that's not what anybody Sam, wants. She, Sam. Sam. That's what. That's exactly what this question that is going on the ballot in this November is. It allows for abortion to the ninth month. It allows wholesale abortion across the board. Go read what the the the, the ballot question says. Okay, it doesn't I, say. I, Right now, I, it's twenty. I, okay, we are out of we are out of time here. But I will go read the ballot question. But infanticide and apologize. Is, and apologize. Infanticide is not what anybody is looking for here. But Sam, it is. It's it, not it, what it, you're it looking for. It's, it's not what politics. I'm looking for. It's what they put into the question, and people just sign it because they think the government's taking their rights away. This okay, right is George. In George, the Constitution. you you know that we cannot manufacture time. We are out of it. I love you. I thank you for doing this as always, my friend. And thank we will be talking soon. All Thanks right. for having a reasonable voice on your show. <laughs> thank you. Bye, George. We'll be Bye -bye. right back. Welcome to the Winnemucca Big R. Hi, I'm John Walker. Welcome to Big R Love Lock. Hi, I'm Rich Martin. Welcome to Fallon Big R. My name is Braden. Welcome to Big R Friendly. Hi, I'm Kelly. Welcome to Big R Sparks. Imagine a magical garden that feeds Carson City's hungry and homeless, teaches our high school students agriculture, creates hanging floral displays to beautify downtown, and yet charges nothing. It's not magic. It's the Greenhouse Project. It's real, it's growing, and it needs your help. Go online to carsoncitygreenhouse.org so together we can grow it forward. Modern Boutique Ahern Hotel and Event Center sits at the heart of the Las Vegas Strip. Two floors of meeting and event space are ideal for groups and conventions. Stay in one of 200 luxurious rooms and suite. Brand your event throughout the property. Flexible event spaces make for easy planning and personalization. Take over the entire hotel with a full buyout option. As always, you can watch the Battle Newsmakers 24 hours a day on various platforms, including television, radio, our website, audio and video podcasts, YouTube. If you want to find the show, you can find it pretty darn easily. And we cover politics, business, health, and education. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next broadcast.